right in this particular side remember that refrigerants like 454b they have a lower flammability limit like we just talked about that indicates the minimum concentration capable of ignition where we have a sufficient mixture of the gas and the vapor and the air exists sure so, so the lower flammability limit to us is very important for equipment design and for safety it's simply expressed as a percentage by volume with a higher rating being better and offering, therefore, lower flammability. So the LFL ratings are determined by ASHRAE using their flammability tests. So our portable refrigerant is actually six and a half times higher in LFL rating than propane, which is highly explosive. So with our portable refrigerant, it's really less likely to form any flammable concentrations during its use. And therefore, it poses very low fire hazard if it's properly designed, installed, and maintained in equipment, allowing for potentially increased charge levels, mm -hmm. as well as increased equipment size applications. So in the chart, the r 4 which b has an LFL value that really is shown at 11.8%, which is relatively high compared to propane. So we must have a decent amount of the leak of the vapor into a place where there's enough air and in that same place, we also must have some sort of open flame that keeps burning. <laughs>